check, check, check. Yeah, that's this one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another live broadcast of Farmers Baseball. And we are coming out of home tonight. The battle against the Disney and the Brady Highway 78 duel at the Diamond. A 
little uh, friendly rivalry that a few of us have uh, kind of put together this year. So, hometown versus our neighbors. Community comes in tonight on 11 5 season record, 3 1 in district. The farmers are 12 and 7 on the season, a 2 and 2 split in district. <laughs> Looking to even that up here with a win against the community. Kate Norman's going to pass off tonight for the farmers. Yeah, Brady's great behind the dish. Erwin at first, Graves at second, Fuller at short, Kate Johnson at yeah. third. Watkins in left, Omegas in center. Garrett yeah. needs to take right. Tonight we'll be giving you score updates of the Texas Rangers. Opening game tonight, Chicago Cubs. First pitch has already happened. I think we have a 635 pitch off. So we're getting a little bit late start tonight. I see the Bale Boys bringing up the new dog to the ball field. Who doesn't love puppies? Who doesn't love baseball? We'll be ready for the first pitch here in just a moment. Okay. Uh, if you just want to grab uh, their warm ups, the amount of an element right there, yeah. Then uh, we're coming to you. Leading off for the Braves tonight. Number Leading eight, off for the Braves, Garcia. number eight, Jackson Garcia. Last year between uh, community and the farmers. You can hear some extra noise tonight with crazy mail down below me, so bear with us. First pitch just catches the outside corner for strike one. Slow chopper to third as KJ's going to have to charge. Ball just hit slow enough to give Garcia enough time to get the first on that inside single. Johnson might have thought that ball was hit a little harder than it was coming off the bat, but that winter ryegrass slowed that ball down for sure. I don't think he's going to but caught him on the back of his heels nonetheless. Leadoff single for Garcia is number seven, Justin Knight. Takes the left-handed batter's box for the Braves. Garcia with a moderate lead at first. Garcia shows the bunt, pulls it back. That outside pitch for strike one. Nine squares to show bunt again. Pulls back. Same pitch, same spot, same call. Norman quickly had 0-2. Oh, Should not be showing bunt with an 0-2 scenario here. So Norman set in the stretch. Quick look over to first. Throw over there. No balls, two strikes tonight. Here's the payoff pitch. Looking at strike three. Oh, I'm sorry. That's how it normally is. Number three, pitcher, Kenton Hughes. Next up for the Braves, number three, the pitcher, Bubba Buse. Home is always white. Home is, yeah, I got that backwards. I'm sorry. One out after that looking strikeout. I'll see you on first. Visitors and other sports are usually the white. Norman set. Look to first. And here's a pitch. A little outside for ball one. Outside ball two. On Buse.
Sunshine still going to be a factor for a few more minutes for left field and center field. Break the pitch in there for strike one. Brings account two balls, one strike on use. One out, runner on first. Moderate wind coming in from the south tonight. The sky that out of play over the community dugout. Evens account two balls, two strikes. Norma might need a quick haircut at Sports Clips. It's been a few times his hat's fallen off tonight out there throwing the gas. Two balls, two strikes, and one out. Here's a 2-2 two -two pitch. Just leaves that outside. Slipped out of his arm angle there. Brings the count full on use. Same pitch outside. Ball four on Buse. Moves Garcia up to second. One out. Runners on first and second. Next up, cleanup. Number nine. Excuse me, number four. No, excuse me. Twenty-four. Ewing for the Braves. My apologies. I got confused with batting number, batting order, and position. So this is the right fielder. Core and Ewing. Norman comes set with runners on first to second. Here's the pitch. Quick back pick by Murray. Just on the outside of the bag. Early not, the not able to get that. Uh, Tag back over there. So a few pitches there for Normans. You kind of coming out of his arm slot a little different on those last few pitches. Been consistently hitting that up and away. Yeah, Greg's going to take a quick timeout just to kind of reset Norman here. Two balls, no strikes on you. One out, runners on first and second. We do apologize for the back noise. I'm getting some text about uh, Crazy Mail's amplified tractor supply bucket. There he is. Two balls, one strike on you. And that fastball catches the outside corner with a foul tip miss. Quick look a second as Norman comes set. Fuller's dancing around. we got a situation. He's going to be tagged out. Good job by Norman. Get that back. DJ Norman with the uh, sound antics after catching him dead to rights at first base. Two outs, two balls, one strike on Ewing. Runner at second. Here's a pitch. Fouls that one straight back over the first base dugout. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. If you're superstitious, make a wish. Runner on second. Here's the payoff pitch. Good pitch. Catches that outside corner. Of the top of the zone. Strike three. So after hitting the wall, leaving one on and a pickoff at first. No, no, no. One hit. No runs in the top. We'll be back here in just a moment for the bottom of the first.
Brady Gray. Welcome back here. Off for your farmers, number 30, senior Brady Gray. Brady comes in on the season bat at 314, respectively. One of the leaders on the team. Buse sets in, fires first pitch. This is just below the strike zone for ball one. One ball, no strikes. His views is set from the stretch. Ball in. Pops that up to second base. Shortstop good. Easy play there. For out number one. First out, Jordan Fuller. Next up for the Farmers, number one. Shortstop, another senior, Jordan Fuller. Center catches the outside corner for strike one to Fuller. On deck for the Farmers, number five, the DH. Oh, there he That ball was definitely outside. But he called it a strike. Fuller falls behind quickly, 0 2. Foul ball there from Fuller. Count will remain 0 and 2. Sun finally settled down for the outfield. Great curveball in there from Buse. That pitch was a good strike. Number five, DH, Colin Perry. Quick strike out there for Fuller. Next up, a designated hitter. Colin Berry. Colin Berry leading the Farmers this year with a 14 batting average. Doesn't get much better than that, people. Hard line drive, grounder to shortstop. Easy play across the diamond. Quick three up, three down. After one, no hits, no runs, nobody on. 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll be back here in just a moment for the top of the second. Six. We're back here at the top of the second. Score 0-0 zero, zero, brings up number six, Davis Stanford. Brace. Someone's pitch in there. Slow swing for Stanfield for strike number one. Ball low in the dirt, evens the count, one ball, one strike on Stanfield. 
decent little crowd out here for a Easter weekend baseball. It's a good Friday. That's why you see us playing on Thursday night. Just a bit outside, right back to Brady Gray. We didn't get crazy mail up here in the booth with me. Uh, fastball there, swinging a miss from Stanfield. Evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch from Norman. Misses outside again. That's been his Achilles heel tonight. Full count payoff pitch. Slow grounder to Graves at second. Should be an easy play, and it is. Round number one. Little MLB score in action for you guys. Bottom of the fourth. Rangers and Cubs tied one to one. I had an opportunity to go to the World Series last year with my son and my dad. And it was the one game that they lost, but we got to go and experience that. And that stadium is something else. If you ever have a chance to go, definitely take your family out there. First pitch to Petty. Strike one on the outside corner. Guys, that ball to left field. Watching the drifted hand big back to play. We're out number two. Catcher, number 15, Chase Bennett. Next up for the Braves. A family member of some sort, I would assume. Number 15, Petty. First pitch fouled over the first base dugout. Strike one. Two outs. That outside pitch, ball one. He was a count. One ball, one strike. Two outs on Petty. Just outside, gets behind on the count. Two balls, one strike. That pitch down the middle, sky to center field. Venega should be a can of corn and it's good. Round number three. So a quick three, up, three down for your farmers. Norman makes quick work there in the top of the second. We'll be back here in just a moment.
leading off. Bottom of the second inning. First baseman, number 14. Mason Welcome back Irwin. here to the bottom of the second. Leading off for your Farmers. Number 14, the first baseman, Mason Irwin. A quick three up, three down there in the top of the second for Norman and the Farmers. Make quick work. Frazier Mill starts out with Steve Bangs. Let's see if Irwin can bang something out here. His first pitch is just outside the ball one. Second pitch to Irwin's chopper. Houston makes a good play there at first, just in time for out number one. Going back to the 15, the center fielder here, the Our new prospect this year, if anybody's been following, Wyatt Langford got our first run. He's going to be a good attribute to the team. Reloading from last year, so. First pitch to Venegas, the center fielder for strike one. He just catches the outside corner. I've been a Ranger fan all my life. And to sit there and watch that, I felt like a little kid. I've been to the ball. I've been to all three ballparks growing up. And that was by far one of the best experiences I got to experience. Swing and a miss with Venegas there. Brings count one ball, two strikes. But I get to experience it with my dad who introduced me to baseball and my son who's playing tonight. It was uh, something special, a memory that nobody could take away from us. So, like I've heard before, I do not be romantic about baseball. That pitch outside, he was to count two balls, two strikes on the Vegas. Hughes settles in there from the stretch. Here's a payoff pitch. Hard line drive right back to Hughes, past his glove to Garcia at second. Needs to play over at third, or first for out number two. Number eight, right fielder Garrett McNeese. <laughs> Next up for the Farmers, right fielder Garrett McNeese. Hard line drive to shortstop. Just off the end of his glove. Tough play over there for shortstop. First hit of the evening. Number seven, second baseman, Paxson Graves. Next up for the farmer, second baseman, junior Paxson Graves. Graves coming in batting at 276 on the season. Settling in the box here as Hughes comes set with a runner on first. Inside pitch catches the corner for strike one. Love those white uniforms. Good fastball there by Buse. Gray swings a miss, falls behind quickly 0-2. Here's the 0-2 pitch from Buse. Up high out of the zone. One ball, two strikes on Graves. Buse is set. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Just inside off the plate. He's counting two balls, two strikes. Swinging a miss by Graves, ends the inning on a strikeout. After two complete innings, we are scoreless. We'll be back here in just a moment for the top of the third.
We're back here in the top of the third. Leading off for the Braves, number nine, Calum Marquez. First pitch low in the dirt for ball one. Kalem pokes out to right field. For an easy single. Number 13, D.H. Jesse James. <laughs> Next up, he designated hitter number 13, Jesse James. Not the outlaw. <laughs> James shows a bunt. Fouls that one over to the right side for strike one. James showing bunt again. <laughs> Caleb with a moderate lead. Norman's going to throw over there to keep him honest. I know a few community kids from playing select ball with my son, so I know first name basis, so you're going to be calling a few of them. That catches the corner, yeah. I was about to say, that catches the corner for strike two as James falls behind quickly. So I'll, I'll call a few of these kids by their first name, so. O2 to James is Norman Sepp. Here's a payoff pitch. Catches the corner, strike three. Great pitch by Norman. Back to the top of the lineup, number eight, Garcia. Jackson Garcia. Single to third base. His first time up this evening. Be a good double play here by Graves. Great job on the double play. The grounder was hit sharply to the second base side. Graves able to take it for himself and turn that. That was a quick inning there for the Farmers. That's what we needed. Hopefully that sparked a little offense. So after two and a half, still 0-0. We'll be back here in just a moment for the bottom of the third. Welcome back. Leading off okay. in the bottom of the third for the farmer, number 22, third baseman, Caden Johnson. Johnson ended at 283 on the season. Low for ball one outside to KJ. Thank <laughs> you. 
Going outside. Ball two. Use the set. Here's a 2 0 -oh pitch. Hit right back past the pitcher. Great play by the shortstop there. That's a running throw. Out for the one. Next up for your farmers, number two pitcher, Caden Norman. Yeah, it's first time up the season. Showed a quick bump up and away, brings it back for ball one. Swing and a miss, foul tip there. Evens account, one ball, one strike on Norman. Third base might have a scouting report on uh, Norman. Likes to push those bunch down third base side for an easy single. Call Norman Ginger Flash as he scoots down the line on those bunch singles. Swing and a miss, evens account, two balls, two strikes. <laughs> Would usually take the bunt situation away in this scenario. But with the contact that Norman has and the third base is scooting back, I wouldn't completely put it past him. Hits sharply back to Buse off his glove. He's able to pick it up. Make the play at first for out number two. Back to the top of the lineup for the Farmers. Catcher number 30, Brady Number 30, Brady Gray. Gray. He flew out his first time up this evening. Just behind the shortstop. Nothing really started quite yet for either team offensively. In a pitching and defensive duel at the Diamond on Highway 70. First pitch just gets away from use. Way outside for ball one. Do you know who my dad is? One ball, no strikes. Use is set. Ball high. Brings the count, two balls, no strikes. Same pitch, high out of the zone. Gray ahead, 3-0. and Brady's one of the few farmers on a 3-0 count. That Coach Norman will get the green line. We'll see what he does here. Didn't like it good enough to bring the swing around. Three balls, one strike. That's what we call a hitter's count. Doesn't want the wall. Hard line drive by Gray. Hit to center. Just over the center field of his glove. That's going to be an easy stand up double for Brady. Great charge into the ball for a leadoff double. Or first hit of the inning, excuse me. Short stop, Two outs here. Brings up short Jordan, start Jordan Fuller. Fuller. Struck out looking his first time up this evening. Gray really put a charge in that ball, I think. Center field might have thought it was going to hang up a little bit. Literally right between his glove and head. Ended up letting Gray get to second with ease. Fuller, another good back for the Farmers. He fouls this one straight back for strike one. Yeah. 
Great curveball there. Ball's in there for strike two. Buse in a great position here. First base open to throw what he wants. Here's a pitch. Fuller takes that outside pitch and fouls it straight back to the backstop. Still 0-2. Two. two outs with the runner on second. On deck for the Farmers is a DH number five, Colin Berry. Great job by Fuller just sits on the curveball. Jordan's going to send Brady. He's going to be in it. Fuller's going to move up to second on the throw. Fuller will be credited with a single on that. Great job by Fuller. Sitting on that curveball. DH, Colin Berry. Next up for the Farmers, number five, Colin Berry. Two outs, runner on second. Barry throws his hands at that one and shoots that one foul until the batting cages. Strike number one. Beautiful night tonight. Feels like the wind's died down a little bit. Great weather today. It was 37 degrees when I left the house at 6 o'clock. Ended up getting almost a 76 or 77 as that ball is just outside for ball one. Evens the count. One ball, one strike. If you don't like the weather in Texas, just give it a little bit. Low ball two. Evens the count. Two balls, one strike on Barry. I'm going to say good eye by Barry because that ball was outside, but umpire's going to even the count. Two balls, two strikes. Barry's not one to look at too many pitches that are close to the strike zone. And even the catcher went out just a little bit there. So he's just going to fake a throw to second. Keep Fuller honest. He got a decent little lead out there. Short stuff. Two balls, two strikes. Hughes comes set. Here's a payoff pitch. Hard ground ball hit to second base. Bobble by Garcia. Still able to make the play for the third out. But not before your farmer's able to score first. One to nothing after three in favor of your farmers. We'll be back here in just a moment for the top of the fourth. Justin Knight. Welcome back here in the top of the fourth. Your farmer's able to draw first blood in the bottom of the third on an RBI single by Fuller. Leading off for the Braves here in the top of the fourth. Number seven, Knight. Knight struck out looking his first time up. 
Norman has three strike three strikeouts this season. All of them are looking third strikes. Breaking pitch didn't break, just misses inside ball one. Definitely different atmosphere between these two teams when we play. Low and outside ball two. Community and Caddo went to a 15 inning ball game the other night with Caddo winning in the top, two to one. Three balls, no strikes on night. It was one to one since the fifth, I believe somebody told me. They went another 10 innings to get a deciding factor in that ball game. So. I was informed that they play that community. You know, we had some weather this week. Low ball four on night for lead off wall. They had moved the game to community due to field difficulty with the weather. Obviously, community has a nice facility with their turf. So the rain was not an issue. Oh, actually, that is a Next up for the Braves, number three, the pitcher. Bubba Buse, who walked his first time up this evening. Norman looks in and comes set. He has a quick peek at yeah. first. Knight's going to take a few more steps. Fouled straight back by Buse for strike one. No outs, runner on first here in the top of the fourth. Pitchers respectively around 40 pitches each. Breaking pitch just missed outside. Normal even to count one ball, one strike on Buse. Up and out, ball two. Two balls, one strike. Rangers update, top of the sixth. Still tied one to one. Pitch. Right down the middle, strike two. On abuse, even to count two balls, two strikes. And the standard room always tickets today. They were very proud of it. $150 each starting. And if you've never stood for a three and a half hour Major League Baseball game, not fun. Here's a 2 2 pitch from Norman. Right on the outside corner, fouled straight back. Just misses outside, brings the count full. Really? Here's the full count pitch, quick step off over to first. Keep the night honest. Pitch to Buse, right Pitch. down the middle, strike three. Yeah. Another strikeout looking for Norman. That's four in a row. Right fielder, number 24, Corin Ewing. Next up, number 24, Ewing, who also struck out looking his first time up.
Hard ground ball to shortstop. Fuller unable to get it out of his glove smoothly to try to get the double play, but he's able to get the force out of second with Graves. For the second out of the inning. Number six, third baseman, Davis Stanfield. Next up, Stanfield. That fastball catches him right in the foot. Give him a few minutes to walk down the first base, walk that off. Number two, shortstop, Cruz Petty. Number two, Petty. Flew out to left field his first time up this evening. Ball one outside. Yeah. Yeah, I got a couple, you get a couple. It's on the We're just waiting for Kimberly to go down. Two balls, no strikes, that ball's low in the dirt. <laughs> Just out of the top of the zone, gets a count. Three balls, no strikes on the Petty. Petty, excuse me. Going with a quick look to second. One strike. Two balls, one strike. Gives a pitch from Norman. That ball's popped to right. Easy play there for Watkins. After three and a half. Two left on, no runs. Your farmers still lead one to nothing. We'll see if we can get something kick started off here in the bottom fourth. We'll be right back.
strong in the fourth inning. First baseman, number 14, Mason Irwin. We're back here in the bottom of the fourth, leading off. First baseman, number 14, Mason Irwin. Irwin had a ground out to first base, excuse me, back to the pitcher, his first time up the suit. First pitch to him from Buse, ball one. Takes that high fastball to left field. First out of the inning. Number 15, center fielder, Jahir Venegas. Next up, number 15, center fielder, Venegas. Pitch in there to Venegas for strike one. Use is set. Ground ball hit the third. Should be an easy play, and it is across the diamond. Four out, number two. Number 13, pitch hitter Landon Dunham. Next up for the Farmers, number 13, Landon Dunham. Coming into bat for Garrett Neese, who I believe was replaced in right field by Jacob Watkins. Tuck was moved to left field. Use is set. Here's a pitch to Dunham just outside for ball one. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Quick two outs. Swing and a miss, evens the count, one ball, one strike. Yeah. It should be down. Good job by Dunham, that's going to get him a double. Great job by Dunham to get the first hit up the inning. Maybe spark a little fire in the Farmers. Number seven, Next up second the Farmers, baseman, number seven, Paxson second baseman, Graves. Paxson Graves. He struck out his last time up this season. Number nine into pinch run for Dunham. A little speed out there. Grace moves his hand, settles in here with two outs, runner on second. Use is set. Ah, just out of the zone for ball one. Grace struggling lately offensively. Fouls that one straight back to you. Evens account, one ball, one strike. They say you'll miss 100% of the balls you don't swing at, so. One ball, one strike, two outs, running on second. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Another hard pitch by Views. His greatest fouls that one straight back. One ball, two strikes. Probably going to be a discussion in regards to Graves trying to get time during the during his at bat. 
it is a judgment by the umpire that do not have to give you time. They have to grant it to you. Nonetheless, one ball, two strikes on Graves, two outs. Like to see him get this run in. Give a little bit more cushion to that 1 0 lead that the Farmers are able to get. Bottom of the thirds. Used to set with quick check to second. Here's a two strike pitch. Up and away, even to count two balls, two strikes. Here's a 2 2 pitch. He's going to watch the curveball for strike three. Thank you for everything. Runner stranded at second. I like baseball. Through four, your farmers still lead one to nothing. We'll be back here in just a moment for the top of the fifth. Welcome back here 15, to the top of the yeah, fifth. Like Leading off the Braves, number 15, Petty. Grounded out to second base his last time up this evening. Chopper to third base should be an easy play for Johnson. Cross the diamond and one pitch, one out. Number nine, left fielder, Caleb Marquez. Next up for the Braves, number nine, Caleb Marquez. Single to right field with a poke over first base his first time up this evening. Not sure where that pitch missed. But first pitch to Marquez for ball one. Pokes that one foul towards the Braves dugout. One ball, one strike. One out, no runners on. Top of the field. Here's the pitch. Just catches the outside corner. One ball, two strikes. Norman with four Ks tonight. All four looking. Just outside, even to count. Two balls, two strikes. On Marquez. Hard line drive, close to the opposite field, similar to what he did last time for a leadoff single. Excuse me, first single of the inning. Number 13, D.H. Jesse James. Next up, the D.H. Jesse James for the Braves. Struck out looking his last time up. Yeah, like, all right, everybody, we get us teacher today. I'm going to teach the trumpet section. And then 
So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your clips just like this. And First pitch low there for ball one. That's going to be poked to the right side foul into the bullpen. Four strike one. Even count one ball, one strike. I'd like to see a nice little double play here. In the inning, get back in the dugout and see if we can put a couple more runs up there. One's just not enough against this Braves team. Like I said, they've had a quite a few low-scoring games that they've come out ahead on this year. And like I said, just lost that 15-inning game against Caddo the other evening. I think that game was over to like 11.30. So we're going to miss foul tip into the glove of Brady Gray for strike number two. One ball, two strikes on James. He is a designated hitter for the second baseman tonight. Fouls that one back. Still lose the count. One ball, two strikes. Rangers game update. In the bottom of the six with two outs. They are tied two to two with the Cubs. Here's a two-strike pitch. Not sure where that is. But that evens account. Two balls, two strikes. One out, runner on first. Looking for a ground ball here. Oops, that one to the right side, just over the Braves dugout. Norman looks in and gets a sign. Comes set, takes a quick peek to first. Marquez with a moderate lead. Outside ready to pitch. for swing and a miss. Route number two and his fifth strikeout of the evening for Norman. Back to the top lineup, second baseman number eight, Jackson Garcia. Jackson Garcia, number eight. Top of the lineup for the Braves. In the box now. He hit into a fielder's choice double play to hit the inning in the second. Here's the pitch. He shows a bunt right back to Norman. Slips and falls. Kind of a freak little situation there. He got the old Judy call from his dad up here. Sure First baseman, Justin Knight. Next up, number seven, Justin Knight. He walked his last time up. Runners on first and second, two outs. They have a frustration pitch right there as he slipped, trying to make that play on that bunt with two outs that you normally don't see. One ball, no strike tonight. He shows bunt. He's going to shoot it down. KJ's going to try to make a play. And he does. Great job by Johnson. Come up and get that. Throwing on the run. Little Beltre action there. Inning, inning play. Great job by 22. Two runners left on. No runs. One hit. Your Farmers lead one to nothing after four. We'll be back, excuse me, four and a half. We'll be back here in just a moment.
leading off the bottom of the fifth inning, our third baseman, number 22, Caden Johnson. Johnson. Welcome back here in the bottom of the fifth. A great little inning of defense there by your farmers in the top of the fifth. Leading off, number 22, made the off-balance throw from third on that bunt. Save a run, Caden Johnson. Johnson in the ground at the shortstop. His first time up this evening. Swings at the first pitch he sees, fouls that straight back for strike one. Definitely been a uh, pitcher defensive duel tonight. Normally five strike counts, used with three. That inside pitch catches Johnson on the fist. Falls behind quickly. No balls, two strikes. Here's the 0-2 pitch. He puts a charge into that to center field. And there's out number one. Put the ball in play. Number two, Caden Dorman. Next up is the Farmers pitcher, number two, Caden Norman. Grounded out to the pitcher. His first time up the season. When I say it's been a pitcher's game, there's been three up, down, four up, three down. So we're just now finishing the bottom of the lineup for the second rotation. So. First pitch outside. Ball one. Use as a primary stretch pitcher. Swing and a miss, fouls that straight back into the glove. Strike one, evens account one ball, one strike on normal. Like I said, we've got a few of these kids that we play summer ball with, so we kind of learn their tendencies and learn their demeanors. Pitch high on Norman, brings the count two balls, one strike. One out. No runners on here in the bottom of the field. Ball high and away, ball three. Three balls, one strike on North. So this is a fastball down the middle here. Still two to two in the top of seven. Rangers in. Must be a pitcher's duel over there at the ballpark, too. That fastball just catches the inside corner, according to the umpire. Brings the count full. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Three, two, one on the board. Johnson takes a swing. Excuse me. Norman takes a swing at that. Faded off the left field, just a foul. Lives to fight another day. Still full count. Threw his hands at that low outside pitch. A little bit of breeze that picked back up. One out, three balls, two strikes to Norman. He settles back in. Reeves gets a sign and comes set. Here's the pitch. Up and in for ball four. Well, first base runner up. Excuse me, up the Number thirty. Back Pitcher, to the top of the lineup. Brady Gray. Brady Gray. Brings up Brady Gray. Double to deep center. His last time up. Ended up coming around to score on Fuller's line drive to center. We'll see if we can get something started here with Gray back up to bat. There, but he did the little walk up water. I thought he was about to call it, but he did. First pitch to Gray was outside ball one. Runner on first. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Your farmers did one to nothing. Quick throw by Buse over to first. Running back in there safely. So
slight breeze blowing in from the south southeast. Here's a piston. That's going to be hitting the gap. He put a charge into that ball. Off the wall in right center. Jordan's going to score. Great job by Brady Gray. Another double. Scoring Norman from first. Your farmers lead two to nothing here in the bottom of the fifth. You're live right now because I got to fix the light. Number one, short stop. Back to back Jordan doubles for Gray. Fuller. He definitely put a charge into that ball just to the left of the scoreboard. Single back up the middle his last time up. Like I said, to score that, that's going to be poked fast to third base side. Moves Brady Gray up to third base. Runners on the corner. With a little bit of an offensive action here for the ball. Brings up number five. Designated hitter, Colin Berry. He's going to take a quick time out. Head coach is going to come out and chit chat. We're going to work on some technical difficulties here. Angle change. We've lost a wide view from home plate, but we still have a zoomed in view. So bear with us. If we don't, we're going to work with what we've got, and I'll do the best I can to commentate on what I'm seeing. Right now, I'm seeing a little offensive spark in the farmers. Mound visit from Alton. Head coach from the going to walk up there and break it out just as the head coach is walking off the mound. After that single through the left side by Fuller, puts runners at the corners. One out. A hot bat of Colin Berry. Trying to see it catch fire this inning. Put a couple more runs on the board. Farmers lead two to nothing here in the bottom of the fifth. Okay. Uh, it's the wide is still gone, but don't it's fine. Ball one, low and outside. We are still going to work with out the wide camera angle, so you'll be able to see the batter. And most of the middle infield. I'll keep you updated on what's going on. Breaking pitch in there, first strike one, evens account one ball, one strike on Barry. He's working through some signs as he settles in, gets his pitch. Comes set on the rubber. Here's the one one. Excuse me. Faked me out. Quick throw to third, step off, and throw to first. In this situation, that runner's on the corner with one out. You're more than likely going to, especially with the speed of Fuller, potentially see him stealing just to get in a score position to where a potential base hit can score two runs. Right now, a base hit's going to score probably just one. It's a little strategic move by Norton here to see if he does something to move forward up in a better scoring position. Barry's going to call time. Victoria. Oh, little break and pitch just blooped off the end of the bat from Barry and third base is able to snag that. Number 14, oh, first baseman, Mason Irwin. Irwin. Mason Irwin's up next for the Farmers. He flew out to 
left field his last time up. Two outs, runners on the corner still. Irwin, another hot bat for the Farmers. Takes first pitch low in the dirt for ball one. One ball, no strike, two outs. Fuller at first, Gray at third. Here in the bottom of the fifth as they lead two to nothing over the Braves. Inside in the dirt, brings a count, two balls, no strikes. Hughes trying to work through this situation here, giving up a couple good hits. Runs already scored. Missing a few pitches can kind of work on the pitcher. I used to really think that his potential for Fuller to go, but look at his moderate lead. Not too much to worry about here. With him struggling to play, I would have him focus on that. But that pitcher up there misses outside. Brings the count. Three balls, no strikes. Two outs. Here's the 3-0 pitch. Oh, I don't Quick throw over to first. They are really worried about Fuller. I think that that sometimes gets a pitcher out of his sink. He's 3 0. He struggled a little bit. Irwin with the apparent green light swung at something he thought he liked. Three balls, one strike. That pitch, too, has to be perfect. Another throw over the first. Three balls, one strike to Irwin. Buse is set. Here's the 3-1 pitch. Up and away. Ball four. Loads the bases for the Farmers. Brings up the center fielder. Number 15, Jahir Venegas. Vegas grounded up. Grounded out both times up tonight. See if he could poke them something through the infield and score a run here. <laughs> Swinging a miss on that pitch on the outside corner. Gets behind 0 and 1. No ball, one strike, two outs, bases loaded. That break a pitch. Fell to the very bottom of the strike zone as Venegas is behind quickly 0-2. Oh ball in the dirt. Great job by the catcher to keep a run from scoring. One ball, two strikes on Venegas. Two ounce bases loaded. Use is set. Here's the one two pitch. Ball high. Even to count. Two balls, two strikes. Situation like this, you don't need anything huge, don't need anything special, just a base hit to the grass. That breaker pitch is below the bottom of the strike zone. Brings the count full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Buse goes home. Runners will be going on the pitch. Here is the full count pitch. Venegas puts a charge into that one. Skies that to right center. That's going to be a can of corn and an ending inning catch. But not before the Farmers able to put a run across. Extend the lead to two to nothing. We'll be back here in just a moment for the top of the six. Stay tuned.
Off here in the top of the six for the Braves. Great pitch catches the outside corner, swinging a miss. Five views. The bottom of the fifth, your farm was able to score a run. Extend their lead two to nothing against the Braves. Fly out to right field as Buse puts a little bit of a flare into that one. Watkins comes in and makes that play. We're out number one. Right fielder, Corin Ewing. Side. Strike number one. Ewing. He walked in last time right this evening. Low for ball one. He was to count one ball, one strike. Hard chopper hit to KJ over third. Easy play across the diamond for out number two. Number six, third baseman. Davis Stanfield. Stanfield up for the Braves. Shortstop his last time up. Two outs. Quickly here. Top of the sixth. First pitch to Stanfield. Fouls that one straight back to us for strike one. Great pitch on the inside corner. Here's a look for strike two. No balls, two strikes on Stanfield. Two outs here in the top of six. Nobody on. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to left field. Snag zapper out number three. Quick little three up, three down inning there for the Farmers in the top of the sixth. No hits. No runs. Nobody left on. We'll be back here in just a moment for the bottom half. Welcome back to the bottom of the sixth. Lead Farmers out. baseball. Bottom of the sixth it's your Farmers lead here. Two to nothing. Right fielder, 
Garrett, your niece. Six, seven, and eight. Do up here in the bottom half of the six with the farmers leading off. Garrett Geese had a hard single his first hit tonight. First break of pitch in there for strike one from Buse. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Big swing and a miss. Hold line quickly 0 2. Top of the eighth. Rangers are still tying the Cubs 2 2. Here's the 0 2 pitch from Buse. Breaking pitch didn't break, almost caught him. Fell just past McNeese for ball one. You gotta tell me when it's in focus. One ball, two strikes. I'm just gonna push the ball button, not saying that. He needs to count two balls, two strikes. Missed that one, you might expect this one anywhere close. That one wasn't. Three balls, two strikes. Brings it full on McNeese. Here's a 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three for the first out. Here in the bottom six. Next up, second baseman, Paxson Graves. Two strikeouts tonight. See if you can get something started here with one out. Right. Up and in for ball one from Buse. Like I said earlier, Graves and Buse are a couple other guys on the team or some are teammates. It's a little friendly rivalry here. That swing and a miss by Graves even to count one ball, one strike. Baseball's a pretty hard game without the mental aspect of it. Don't think about it, just do it. Two balls, one strike because that ball's in the dirt. To think about things too much, try to fix it, try to correct it. Think yourself right out of the hit. All right. Almost took that one off the arm. He was able to move out of the way. Brings a count. Three balls, one strike on Graves. One out. Nobody on. But here's a three-one pitch. Swing and a miss. Payoff pitch from Buse. This guy is that one foul behind the press box. Still full count. One out, nobody on. Ball high. Ball four. Third base on first, 22, Caden Johnson. Next up for the Farmers, Caden Johnson. Two out to center his last time up. Graves with a moderate lead at first, one out. First pitch inside to Johnson, ball one. Buse approaching 100 pitches as he delivers the 97th pitch of his outing. Low for ball two. Two balls, no strikes.
Raising the moderate lead. Quick throw from use over to first. Like I said, you, you play with a buddy enough, you know his tendencies. Raises is a pretty good base runner and stealer, so he's going to keep him honest over there. That boy! It's just foul. He looped that ball. Would have got Graves to third for sure. Just missed that double from KJ. Two balls, one strike as he gets that foul. Graves still the first one out here. Another quick throw over to first. He's probably throwing 15 or 16 of those over there tonight. Hey, Buster. Checked out the scattering board. We get on. We like to move around the base. Great job by KJ to recognize that breaking pitch and take that off of the leg. We're hit by pitch. Pitcher Caden Norman brings up the second. Brings up pitcher Caden Norman. Walked his last time up the season. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. You're probably gonna see a spot here as we bring Brady Gay, Brady Gray, who's hot tonight with two doubles, up behind Norman. And he could potentially get the single out of it with his speed and being on the left-hand side of the plate. He already has an advantage. And he's a, one of the best butters on the team. Third base has already expected him to show bunt. And he does not. Swings it back. Tells you how much I know about baseball. <laughs> Quick 0-1 pitch for use. Norman fouled that one back off. One out, runners on first and second. Bottom of the sixth. Great job. He loops up right at the top of the second base from Garcia. Number 30, catcher Ray Gray. That's almost uh, better than a sacrifice punt. Nobody's out. Moves the runners up, basically loaded. Brings up the hot hitting Brady Gray this evening with two great doubles. Uncle's going to call time. Probably going to see a pitching change here with one out. Bases loaded and your, your lead off up. It's already crushed two doubles. And Buse just threw his. First pitch. Really making the pitch and change. Going to bring in the second baseman, number eight, Garcia. Another good right handed junior pitcher from the community. Teammate from the summer team. We'll give them a couple minutes to warm up. We'll be back here in just a moment with the bases loaded and one out. Your farmers lead two to nothing in the bottom of the sixth.
pitching for the Braves, number eight, Jackson Garcia, in his second base. We are back here in the bottom of the sixth half of the pitching team by the Braves. Jackson Garcia on the mound now for community. Back to the top of the lineup. Brings up Brady Gray, who's had back to back doubles his last two times up. Bases loaded, one out. First pitch from Garcia, low for ball one. Here's a 1 0 pitch. Big swing and a miss. Evens account, one ball, one strike on the break. Garcia said, here's a 1 1 pitch. Fooled Gray there on that off speed. One ball, two strikes. Definitely not going to try to throw Bray, Gray something right down the middle. Here's a 1-2 pitch. Up and in, evens account. Two balls, two strikes on Gray. Gray is looking for anything close in the zone. Put another run on the board. Sack fly will definitely score. A Great break of pitch on the back door right there from Garcia to get the second out of the inning. Number one, shortstop, Jordan Fuller. Jordan Fuller's up again for the Farmers. He's had back-to-back -back singles his last two times up. Two outs, bases loaded. Smaller strike zone here on Fuller. Ball next time for ball one. One old pitch. Looked low to me, but evens account one ball, one strike. Base is loaded, one ball, one strike. Two outs. Here's the one one pitch. High on Fuller, but he swings at it. Misses, brings the count. One ball, two strikes. Great job by Garcia to come in and get two back to back strikeouts. To leave three stranded. Here at the top of the seventh, community at their last opportunity. Your farmers lead two to nothing. Norman sits at 78 pitches through six, which is great. I think they're going to bring him back in, let him get another finish, and hopefully get the shutout. So we'll be back here just a moment for the top of seven.
Overstock Cruise Day. Welcome back here to the top of the seventh. Leading off for the Braves, number two, Petty. He's flown out twice tonight. Last time to ride field. So that's actually a phrase, uh, eating a term called eating the mic. Yeah, so we need to shit like so close to the mic. Great pitch by Norman. Norman's really filled the gap here these last few weeks. It's, we haven't had Colin Berry on the mound. Oh. We won't talk about that pitch. He needs to count one ball, one strike. But another senior that is in our arsenal that we're definitely going to miss next year. But it's settled in nice of these last few weeks. Hard high drive hit the Braves for the easy put out. Out number one. Number 15, catcher Chase. After that 81st pitch. Six and a third. Great job with the pitch control, pitch count, pitch selection, just to top to bottom. Like I said, a defensive duel tonight. We were able to scratch out a couple runs, thankfully. So, first pitch to Petty again, number 15, outside for ball one. This is high and away, ball two. I would expect the Braves to be a little more aggressive here with their last couple opportunities arising. That is not that pitch was right down the middle across the bell button. Two balls, one strike. Might be the best pitch he's seen all night. That pitch outside. Three balls, one strike on Petty. She only talks if I talk to her. Unless she has a question. You ask a question. The 3-1 pitch. Just misses up and away. For a rare walk. He's just going to run home. Number nine, left fielder. Caleb Marquez. Next up for the Braves, number nine, Caleb Marquez. Caleb's had two opposite field poke singles. You're like a, you're basically like a different, it's just hard to get at it. Like four o'clock hits and you're just like, all right, I can actually be a person. There he is poking it to the right side again. Anybody's watched the scatter report from the game, I would shade. A little bit that direction. Coach Norton's going to make a quick mound visit. Norman, 87 pitches. Still has 23 left in the tank. If needed, but hopefully we don't have to go that far. Runner on first. After that walk. First pitch was fouled off by Marquez for strike one. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hope to the right side. Nobody hurt, but that is three singles to the opposite right field side from Marquez. Number four, center fielder, Evan Rockaway. Looks like Throgmorton is going to come in and hit for himself as they scratch the DH. Just over the 
outstretched arm of Graves. Quick throw in for McNeese, loads the bases. On that one pitch, one hit single Top by line, Rod Morton. Number eight, pitcher Jackson Garcia. Back to the top of the order. Number eight, Jackson Garcia, who's actually coming to relief pitch there in the bottom of the sixth. Just a handful of pitches. Got two quick strike counts. Save bases, loaded damage. Guys, that one to right field. Excuse me, right center. Good heads up play by Venegas. Was no chance he could get that play at home, so he did go ahead and throw to his shortstop cutoff. Still keeps forces at all bags with two outs. On that 90th pitch from Norman. Looks like number 10, Rocky Turner, is going to come in. Braves able to score a sack run on that high fly ball to right center by Garcia. In the dirt and away from Brady Gray, both runners able to scoot up and advance. Runners move up second and third. Two outs, one ball, no strikes <laughs> on Justin Knight, who has struck out and ground out tonight. We could go for either one of those in this scenario. Good swing and miss. Even count one ball, one strike. Oh, oops, I left you live, fake. Moment from the windup, defense set. Here's a 1 1 pitch. Right back to Norman. Should be an easy play to secure the win. Just missed the shutout by two pitches. But what a great job for your farmers to bounce back after that loss the other evening against Ranchfield. Your farmers two, Braves one in the first game of the Highway 78 duel at the Diamond. We will travel to Community Tuesday night. Most everybody's off of school and work tomorrow. It's the Thursday night games. So we appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you guys have a happy Easter. And until next time, go Farmers.